Amen. We've already prayed over the word. Uh, Jacob, I want you to uh, put Psalms, Psalm, Psalms 24 up there. Psalm of David. for worshiping. Thank you for moving with the Spirit, being sensitive to the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. The Psalm of David. Psalm 24. And I'm going to read the first verse and we're going to King James Version. It says, The earth is the Lord's. But I say it belongs to Him. Amen. And the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein. And everybody say amen. 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 The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Amen. I don't know. I don't know where you're at tonight. Amen. I don't know where your mindset is at tonight. But uh, I want to let somebody know, amen, where we are at. This is God's place. Amen. This is not only His house, amen, this is the house of God. But I want you to know this world, this is God's world. There are some people who are thinking that when the enemy has come against us and has overtaken Christianity, that Christianity is on a decline and that, that sin in this world is so bad and it's going to overcome everything. As a matter of fact, uh, that mindset has touched you in such a way to where you begin to lean in a different way, in a way that is not uh, toward God, it's away from God. Uh, I want you to know tonight it's time that we stand up and say, hey, this place belongs to God. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, victory is ours. If this is His uh, place, if this is His dwelling, if this world and everything belongs to Him, uh, amen, He's only going to put up uh, for so long uh, with the garbage that's going on. Uh, soon and very soon, uh, God is going to make some changes in in this earth that belongs to Him. And I want to tell the people of God tonight that you need to get ready. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. As you are seated this evening. Amen. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Amen. The fullness thereof means that everything in this world is under God's control and under God's authority. Any other authority that may be reigning is only reigning because God has allowed it to be there. And it will only reign for a very, very short time. I want to tell you tonight, if the enemy has come against you, I want you to know that the enemy will not be able to come against you for too long. For very long. It may seem like you fought a fight for a while and that battle is still going on, but I want you to know it is just a short time. Victory is yours and victory is right around the corner. Uh, somebody say amen. 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 I want you to know that eternity is coming and it's coming soon and very soon. And so your trial, even though it may last what might seem like years, if you stick close to God and you follow God, don't you worry about a thing because eternity is a long, long time. Your battle on this earth is 
is going to be short compared to how long you're going to spend in the presence of God. Can somebody say amen? amen. amen. Hallelujah. This place belongs to God. Yes, amen. amen. Everything on this earth belongs to God. Yes. Amen. That's why we don't need to worry. And that's why we don't need to fret about what's going on in this world. Amen. If you are having a hard time with somebody or something, continue to trust in God because God has His hand in your life and He is in control of everything. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. For He hath a Founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. If you'll give us a second verse there, uh, Jacob, amen. He hath created this place. He is in charge of it. If he created this place and he gave it a beginning, I want you to know it has an end. There's a boundary set upon this galaxy that we're living in. There are boundaries upon this earth. God set them all into place. He's the one who gave it a beginning. He's the one who's going to give it an end. He's the one who said it starts here and he's the one who's going to say it's going to finish right now. I want to let you know tonight if you're in a battle or a struggle or a fight or even if you're being tempted tonight that it started at one point but it's also going to come to an end at another point. Amen. Amen. God is the author. Amen. And He's the finisher of our faith. God knows and He allows things that happen in our lives. Amen. And I want you to know God has put enough trust in us. How many people know God's put His trust in us? Amen. Because He's filled us with His Spirit. If God trusts us, hey, you can trust God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So if you're at the beginning or in the middle of something, no. Hey, it's going to come to an end soon and very soon. Do you know all of creation has to listen to God? That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. God has said when the sun will rise, when the moon will come into play. I know we all think and this world and scientists will tell you it's all because of the rotation of the earth on its axis as it goes around the sun. And that has to play with the seasons and everything else and the time of the day and the length of the day and everything else. But I want you to know that God is the one who set all of that into play. He is a supreme being. Can someone say amen? He is an all intelligent being. Amen. And if he started it, I want you to know he's going to be the one that finishes it. Amen. This place belongs to God. Yes. So stop worrying. Yes. Amen. Your life belongs to God. Yes. So stop fretting. Yes. Amen. Everything belongs to Him. The earth is the Lord's. Yes. Amen. And you are God's. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Verse 3, Brother Jacob says, Amen shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place. Uh, amen. Uh, there's something peculiar about this uh, these, uh, uh, this sentence in this verse. Uh, amen. Uh, and that is uh, uh, it's a question. Uh, amen. It's asking a question. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his uh, holy place. Uh, amen. Who wants to climb the mountain of God. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Who shall ascend? Who wants to go up to the heights? Amen. Who wants to stand in the holy place of the Lord? Yes. Anybody here tonight want to be where God is at? ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place I want to climb up to the mountain I want to go up to where the Lord is at when Jesus called Peter James and John to go up to the they went up to the mount of transfiguration they went up to the top they saw a spirit they saw a couple of spirits while they were there holy spirits amen who wants to go up to a place uh, to where you'll see, uh, amen, uh, God face to face. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody yes. shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Who will stand in his holy place? Amen. Verse 4 gives us the answer to that question. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. We all want to go. Right. We want to uh, ascend uh, to the heights uh, with the Lord, to the top of the mountain. Uh, amen. The mountain represents uh, victory. The mountain represents, uh, hey, we're on the top. We're on top. Uh, nobody wants to be down. Everybody wants to be up. Uh, amen. Everybody wants to stand in a holy place uh, with God. But there's a requirement to do that. Uh, and verse four tells us, uh, He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, uh, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Amen. Does anybody have the NIV version in their Bible right now? If you have that with you, I want you to open up because I'm having a problem with my Wi-Fi in this place tonight. I want you to go back to verse 4. He that hath clean hands. Amen. And, and he's not talking about the person who just went back there in the washroom and washed your hands up with some dial soap. Amen. He's talking about somebody whose hands don't have iniquity. There is no sin. You have gotten forgiveness. You have washed yourself with the blood of Jesus. Amen. He's the one. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. If you've got uh, Sister Ebony, can you read that? That for me. NIV. Yeah. The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. Oh Lord, who does not trust by an idol? Amen. And who does not swear by a false god? And now we could play that two different ways tonight. Amen. And I know if you're looking at that uh, in the Old Testament, uh, perhaps uh, uh, in that day and time, he may have been talking about someone who was following a different God or, or, or a different religion. In our day and time, there are a lot of idols that we place before God. There are other false things that we begin to trust in before we trust in God. Amen. If you want to get up up to where God is at on top of the mountain. If you want to be standing in a holy place, it's time that you start putting your faith and your trust in God. It's, it's time that you start making your commitment by, and the word that you're living by is the word of God. Can somebody say amen? You've been trusting in yourself too long. I believe we've heard this tonight already. You've been trusting in yourself too long and in other things. I want you to realize tonight every bit of your faith and your trust has to be placed in God. Amen. Hallelujah. Who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Amen. Verse 5, Jacob says, He shall receive the blessing of the Lord and the right and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Amen. If you want to go up to where God is at, if you want to ascend into the heel of the Lord or stand in His holy place. I mean, you've got to have clean hands and a pure heart. You can't be lifting up your soul into vanity nor sworn, uh, swearing deceitfully. You cannot be trusting in, in idols or swearing by false God. 